Hello everyone. I hope you well. Welcome back to Miss Fountain channel. In this session we are going to briefly look at forensic anthropology. Before we start, if you are, if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more videos. Learning never stops. Thank you. We want to look at forensic anthropology. In forensic anthropology is the application of anthropological techniques to modern human remains for law enhancement. A forensic anthropologist provides basic biological profile to the descendant to aid in identification. They help in identifying the age, the sex, the height, the ancestry, the time since then, etc. Forensic anthropologists approach the analysis by asking a series of questions. Originally, these questions were 10, and they were codified in the, in the year 19, 1982 by Clyde Snow. But as time, with time, with the experience and more knowledge, there are more questions. The questions are now more than 10. The questions that forensic anthropologists seek to answer during the investigations. We're going to look at some of these questions. Number one, they seek to answer is the specimen bone. Are the remains human? Are the remains of forensic value? What bones are present? What is the minimum number of individuals represented by the remains? What is the decedent's sex? What is the decedent's age? What is the decedent's ancestry? What is the decedent's height? Are there anatomic anomalies or pathogens, etc., which may aid in positive identification of the decedent? What is the postmortem interval? What can the anthropologist contribute to determine the cause of death? It is see, those are some of the questions that that a forensic anthropologist seek to answer during their investigation. So these are the questions that guide their investigations. If they find the remains are human, what next? They move to the next step. Okay, they start with, maybe if they identified something, they have to check whether it's a bone or not. If it's a bone, is it human? And if it's human, is it of forensic value? And how many bones are present? How many, what's the minimum number of people that are represented? It is it. Once they've answered all these questions, the investigation is, uh, is concluded since answering these questions gives them a helps them in their investigation that is that is the brief introduction of forensic anthropology in the next video we're going to look at how they work or specifically how they are able to identify human bones maybe from animal bones and how they are able to differentiate male bones from female bones how they are able to tell whether it's one person or many people how they are able to identify the ancestry, the height and also the postmortem interval that's, that's what we are going to look at in the next video we will be looking at forensic anthropology next so stay tuned and remember to like, to share, to comment, and also to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.